Hello and welcome to episode 31 here in European Souls 4 as Tabaristan. We're now Persia. Uh, this is my first time playing in a little while with this save. And I, I did look over the save before this episode, so I, I kind of know what's happening right now. And I know that we have more troops than the Ottomans, but that doesn't necessarily mean much because uh, they're the Ottomans. And there goes more rebels. Funny news story, the Irish government accidentally legalized NDMA. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty funny, I gotta say. I think I just accidentally merged those. Yeah, I think so. What are these guys doing? Are they gonna go kill my rebels? Aw, oh, I love you. If that's what you're gonna do. It also means that they'll be distracted and I can attack them down here. Surprise, 50,000 troops, you know. No, now you're marching back down. Well, if you attack me in the mountains, I'll still lose, but... It'll be a little bit better. Oh, uh, in the mean, in the meantime, as of, as of this recording, the Women in History DLC has come out. But we sadly cannot use it because it would it would have broken the save game and we're losing 17 ducats a month massive mercs if I'm not mistaken you're going to wasit okay what are these Turks doing up here oh they are killing my rebels in that case let's go kill my rebels with my mostly merc army we still have full manpower they have almost none and we never scorched to a sit. Damn, well what what kind of attrition? They're only taking 1% attrition. These guys are taking 5.4% attrition. Wow. That is a lot of attrition. Oh, I was gonna go kill these rebels. Yeah. Why would I do it with the army that... No, oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> That's why. Alright, well, we're going to march up to Vaughn. Actually, we'll go up there because it, it'll be an easy way to create a choke point where there wasn't one before. And we're also going to raise a merc in Basra and scorch all the provinces around here. By that I mean two. So yeah, these are both mountains. I don't know how quickly I can traverse between the two, but we could set up here, depending on where they have access. Yeah, I could set up here and here, and it'll, it'll effectively make their army stuck. Why am I sieging up in... Oh, that's Gazimkuk's army. Am I over my force limit? Hell yeah, I am. There goes some of my money problems. 20 to 1 goes for an instant stack wipe. Scorch, scorch. Um, by the way, for any of you who are watching live, of which there's only one, really, other than my moderator, but for those of you watching on the video, if you want to follow me on my social media, namely Twitter, that's all I really have right now. Please do so. Because it should help quite a bit. Um, I... oh. Unbelievers in Yerevan waver. While most of our nation fears the Sunni invaders, a few citizens seem to welcome them. After Yerevan fell to the enemy, its inhabitants seem to have started considering if they'd be better off in a country headed by rulers of their own faith. In an effort to mitigate this betrayal, our lo the local rulers have sent a message to our court requesting promises of a more hands-off approach to religious matters in Yerevan. Otherwise, the enemy may already have a hold on the province. We will reward loyalty with respect, or uh, the Ottomans gain a core. 
I'd rather that not happen. I'd rather the Ottomans not gain a core on one of my provinces, thank you. Alright, we're gonna kick up the speed here, because we can. And we probably should. So we will. And we're getting some more nationalists. Awesome. Rebels that we can't kill yet. So they've got 35k troops down here. Um, a lot more than that up here, but not really. No, I think I've effectively split their army. And there's steps here. Is there a river crossing? Mm, yes. Is there one between Carvadia and Elenia? No. So if I attacked here, there would be no crossing penalty, but they do have their good generals. But down here, they don't have their good generals. This army is going to be a task force. Can we do it? Wish me luck with definite... Oh, you gotta go do work? I'll definitely wish you luck then. Alright, we've lost the siege in Kazundia up here. Now they're going to siege Tarek. So, I hope that uh, we're able to get an advantage by cutting them off right here. And sweet, we're no longer losing money. But we are about to get more rebels. Where's Nagari? I already raised autonomy. I'm converting it, that's why, okay. Not a big deal. Sharjui changed to Shia. That's nice. Nice of them. Okay, would you accept a white piece? Hell no, you wouldn't. Okay. I'm sure we could flip this war score around. Is it, Are we losing war score right now? No. Well, maybe we can't flip the war score around, but if we just win battles, it's, it's going to be enough to gain quite a bit. I'm going to take this 11 stack to go stomp. Maybe it, we will not stomp smaller armies. What are the Ottomans going to do? I wonder. Nothing? Idea. No. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to be coring any provinces. Are you kidding me? So I wonder what other streamers are there on right now. Um Oh, we have almost no viewers. Well, like overall. The most we have is Formalka with 14. Interesting. Oh, the, the Shirvani guys. Let's go and unsiege it, I guess. Move up in our positions a little bit. Are you attacking me right now? Like, I kind of want you to do it. No, no, you're not. Oh, it's set up in such a way that if I get access here, they won't even be able to use it, because it's only two provinces. So it's Georgia that's the choke point, it has nothing to do with Kara. Okay. Of course they're looting my shores. Alright, cool. We can push up. Alright. 
Maybe we don't want to be in Shirvan. Because it's a drylands province. Gain mercantilism. So what are these guys doing? Are they going to attack Ragusa? I think they are. We lost the siege in Sin Sagar. I am. That's okay. Yeah, they're attacking Ragusa. Bunch of bullies. Oh, thank you for unseizing my rebel provinces. It helps quite a bit. It's very nice of you. Alright. Well, Ottomans, out of curiosity, has your inflation rose? Um, no, it's the same. But your treasury is shrinking. And what's happening to your manpower? Or have you hired more mercs? They have less manpower and more mercs. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's hope we're able to kill off a ton of them in a battle. Well, speaking of battles... It would be attacking into mountains, so we shouldn't do it. But this is their shitty general. We, have the, we only have the same general, we don't really have a better one. But that's a 24 stack and it's so far away. I say we gotta try. For just, just for good luck, let's... 3 1, 3 1, 4? Okay, 3 2 2. Okay, 2-4. We'll use the 2-4. I like that one. We're going to keep that one. Never mind. I like this one more. I like flat roll modifiers more than I like non-flat roll modifiers. Alright, so these... All the guys except for the ones in Artabil are going to stack up. Kind of near each other. And then this 2-4 general is hopefully going to take the lead. And we charge. The general will get there a day after the brunt of the troops. And they shouldn't be able to do anything about it. This is attacking in the mountains, which is really scary, especially if they manage to reinforce. But we have 40 troops, and they're not even going to reinforce. Okay, awesome. Eat my strategy, mate. And that means I can just send this army and go wreck the ones in Basra that don't have a leader. And hopefully not take too much attrition along the way. This is a pretty bad situation, I agree. But we just gained a ton of war score, and they're way more likely to, to uh, piecing out. So we're going to sit in Kuzistan for a day or two. Uh, these guys will go another way, just to cut down on attrition. I mean, these provinces are all scorched, but it's enough. We're able to support m most of the time. Alright. Now, attack. And, yeah, it looks like they're too scared to do anything up here. Which is fortunate, to say the very least. Alright. Cool. And thankfully Syria is leading that battle, so they have less tactics, less morale. And there we go, we're in the single digits negatives. So, now I say we take this army, and I think we can actually push an offensive here. 
What is the war goal? I just per I just declared a uh, a, per a cleansing of heresy war. All right. Yeah, we have the manpower to reinforce, so we're gonna let it happen. And we were making a little bit of money, but I don't know what's gonna happen after these guys flee. I know that we are going to have to take advantage of the situation we have up here, where they have their amazing generals, but we have all of our troops up here, and we do have way more troops than they do. Overall. I mean, they have a ton of cannons. Wow, yeah, they have a ton of cannons. Are they all up here? <gasps> oh my! Yes! All of their cannons are up here, and they have almost no infantry. And the infantry that they have is from Hejaz. These armies will just be ripped to pieces. Because cannons cannot do anything on the front row for, of combat. And yeah, here's... Even these are majority cannon stacks. Alright, yep. Well, thank you, AI, for being terrible at, at army tradition. Or, army composition. Muscovy peace no guy. Oh wow, I now have a border with Muscovy. Okay. Let's get access through Kara to make it easier. It's not gonna change anything. Let's go to Yerevan instead with that one. We can always just get military access from Georgia the second we need to go in and attack. And yep, here we go. They're already going for it. And we're not able to cancel. Fuck. Okay, their big stack is going for that province. I say... Let them. Alright, as long as we have the terrain advantage, it'll be okay. Alright, hopefully the battle happens here. And our good general is not in charge. But hopefully... Yep, there we go, the Ottomans reinforced. So now if you look at this, they have insufficient support and way too many cannons. And so the second these infantry die, they're on the front row. It's genius. Yep. But this army right here is just marching south. But we will be able to win the battle. Just because... and here goes their last of the cannons. Okay. So now that we gained more war score, are you willing to peace yet? I'm very sorry for declaring on you, Ottomans. Um, I didn't realize we weren't strong enough yet. No, you don't want peace yet. Are these majority cannon stacks? <laughs> hey Lux! How's it going? Alright, let's cancel military access here. And we're gonna re respread our troops. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of sieging and whatnot. we got to remember that we don't necessarily have the advantage. Alright. You still going to Tabriz, 22nd of January? Oh, wow, you're going to beat me there. Okay. And now you're going to Nakhchivan. Probably to assist this battle. Am I right? Yeah. Too bad we should finish it before they have the chance to. It, it is mountains. Uh, we need to we need to do something with these guys. Give them a last second morale boost or something. Oh, there we go. Let's ask for George uh, military access just so they might change paths. No, now they're going up to Turek. They're probably trying to kill the army here in Shirvan. And if that's the case, we're going to say nope, 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 nope. 
Eleni is a step. We need to stick to mountains. Alright, here's a 16 stack that's going to Ermia. Probably to back these guys up, who are again mostly cannons. This stack down here is kind of even, so that's bad, but okay. Alright, well, we're going to end this episode here. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Do all that kind of stuff. Also, remember, um, if you want to see my streams be announced and stuff, follow me on Twitter. Uh, the link is in the description, or if you're on Twitch, it is down below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.